Well, it's Sunday. Oh, wow. And out, out for a drive. <laughs> out for a drive. Actually, Sunday's always been our day to go mess around and have lunch with Steve and the guys right. and blah, blah, blah. And that's exactly what we're doing. Exactly. We're, we're heading down to Steve's <laughs> to, to have the pandemic lunch. We have to eat in because the restaurants are closed. And uh, we want to show you guys the, uh, the progress on his layout. Right. Because <laughs> like everybody else, he's kind of stuck at home and, uh, and he's working endlessly. I bet he's putting 10 hours a day. Easy. On that railroad. Easy. And every time we go there, it's like, what? There's a whole new, what? Yeah. Another section? Right. More buildings, more six. So check this out. The progress on Steve's OM30 railroad. But <laughs> well, we've certainly shown Steve's railroad before. Right, but I never get tired of looking at it. Well, it's such an amazing work of art, and every time we come over here, it's different. This is the new section, the peninsula, that runs right up the middle of the room, which is OM30. The new section is predominantly built out of pieces of old section. <laughs> he started tearing the railroad apart, uh, what, well, um, three years ago or something? About two years ago. About two years so ago. He was going to move to Arizona. Back. And then he changed his mind. He got feeling much better and he said, I'm just going to stay here and rebuild the railroad. So he'd already torn most of it down and he started all over rebuilding it. The rules were the new section was going to be all ON30 so it's easy to get stuff for it and everything completely accessible. If you can't just easily reach over and touch it, then it doesn't belong on the railroad. The old railroad, which completely filled this room, oh my heck, uh, but there were a lot of sections that you needed a ladder to get to and that sort of thing. And that was part of the motivation for giving up and starting over was, well, it's just hard to, to get to stuff, isn't it? Nobody wants to climb in the ladder when you're older. <laughs> yeah, you hit a certain age and the knees, and, and you don't want to crawl on the floor to get to things, and you don't want to have to go up a ladder to get to things. But most of what you see here is built out of Gee, four or five different railroads. That's amazing. That's amazing. And a lot of it was built by our friend Al, Al Batum, and a lot of it was built by Steve. This mill, I think this is the, it's the fourth or the fifth railroad <laughs> <laughs> that this mill has been on, and it gets reconfigured every time Steve repurposes it. You can see that a lot of these buildings do look like they've been added on to. A little bit here and there. Yeah, and in the real world, that's what you see. Exactly. So it's it's very realistic. Uh, the more he adds extra porches and rooms, the more these buildings feel like a prototype. But even the scenery here has been built out of pieces from an old railroad. It's looking great. So he just cobbled together out of, because I noticed there was cardboard strip and... Yeah cobbled together out of old pieces of rock work. <laughs> Recycled rock work. Same way you were doing over there then. Well, same thing I did down to the train shop. Just old layout pieces. Mm -hmm. So this mountain, well, it wasn't here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then we came and it was made out of cardboard strips. But most of what you see here is rock work from the old railroad glued to the cardboard strips and then the seams in between filled in with sculpt mold He's not using any plaster anymore, he's using sculpt mold But uh, then some of these buildings he's building to fit the railroad, but for the most part he's just cutting and moving and hashing. You can see to the right there exactly where he's added on to that building and like I said, that's exactly what you'd see in the real world, a, an addition stuck on. And that little screened porch, that's, that's an addition stuck on. And this little shed on the back of this house, that's an addition stuck on there. So everything's getting kind of remodeled uh, just like it would be in the real world. The area that I grew up in, it, the whole area was just like this. Always little additions. Right, <laughs> including our house. <laughs> including your house. Oh, this is brand new. This is this little uh, hay bin, hay storage. And look at the neat hay bales. Steve just got an idea that he wanted to store hay over here by the tunnel. And there you go, a little hay shed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, other of these buildings, you go, oh, I remember this. This used to be up in the mountains. Or this used to be down by the wharf. Or this used to be part of the mine. Uh, Steve had two of these places, Mom's Place. Oh. <laughs> and uh, they were in two different towns, so I guess it was like a, a franchise Mom's Place. A franchise Mom. 
But now they've ended up next door to each other, so he's got to change the name of one of them. He doesn't want to have two mom's places right next door to each other. Now, some of these buildings have been in storage for years and years. We've been letting him take buildings from uh, what we called the Accidental Railroad when we unboxed a lot of Al's buildings. And uh, this is one of Al's buildings from the MRS Railroad. And there's a whole section over here of Al's structures that he built for that railroad many, many years ago. And uh, Steve has taken these structures, which we had stored over at Garage Mahal, and cut into them and repurposed them. And, and now they're over here on the new railroad. We've shown this power plant before, but now it's all finished. It's got this wall all the way around it and fencing and everything. And it's an actual integral part of the new railroad. But this is also off the old MRS railroad, and it's, it's been here. in storage for That's years. Kind of well, this is fun inside. up here. Yeah. This is part of the old mountain line that was an ON30 line. And it just looks so neat up here that he's leaving it up here. But it's disconnected from the railroad. There's no trains that can go up here anymore. There's tracks up here but uh, there's no way to get to them. It's just kind of a decorative element. This used to be the village of nowhere, and here too, it's now disconnect from the railroad. These tracks aren't connected to the railroad, but I think he's planning to take all this out and move it to some other location. Now the outer loop that goes around the outside of the room, that's in ON3, and Steve is just, he hasn't really been working on it or doing anything with it, but the plan will be to uh, revitalize that and have that as an ON3 railroad with the ON30 railroad running in the peninsula right up the middle of the room. But he's got this all operating now, 100% operation, and he can operate trains whenever he wants to. That is awesome. I love that turntable. Isn't that neat? It's a point to point with a turntable at each end. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Yeah, I love that kind of operation. I really enjoy point-to-point -point railroads. I've become a big fan of that. Uh, where this is a really neat operation railroad where you can do prototype operations, Steve rarely does that. He likes to sit at the bench and build structures. That's fun too, though. And that, but that's his, that's his thing. That's what he loves to do, and there's a lot of room here to do it. So uh, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Now the far other end of the peninsula ties into the ON3 railroad in this section. This is all part of the old original railroad, but it's been reworked so that the ON30 railroad now comes into the port area and then interchanges with the ON3 railroad right here. And this is where the second turntable is and the end of line for the ON30 railroad. Now, in an effort to keep everything just simple and straightforward in terms of building the railroad portion, Steve is using mostly Pico track and Pico switches, and this is a uh, Walther's turntable, and both of the turntable are just standard Walther's HO turntables, which you can get away with with ON30. But uh, he's kind of unhappy with the way this one <laughs> runs down. Oh it's, dear. It's a bit bumpy. Uh, right? The stuff he scratch no, builds no, comes out much better. Yeah. I fully suspect yeah. that at uh, some point after the railroad is more or less finished that yeah, he'll tear this out and yeah. scratch build something that'll work much, much better. Oh, you know he will. You know he will. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, he can now run the railroad. He's got turntables at both ends and he can do operations. Like I say, when he feels like it, uh, mostly he just wants to build stuff. 
Is it indexed or you just have to stop it manually? You have to stop it manually. Okay. That's what I'm planning to do. In the large scale, it should be pretty simple. Well, I was looking for a fast, cheap solution. At the time, I thought, well, that's fast and it's cheap. Oh, it was behind the train, man. I don't know. Well, I didn't want to lose it, so I left it there, so I didn't want to find it again. Mm -hmm. So there, there it is, Steve's, Steve's ever progressing railroad. You're cracking up. <laughs> it's the garbage that needs to go it's out. A, well, yeah, we just got reminded that <laughs> yes. the garbage, the phone went. The garbage needs to be taken yes. out right in the middle of what we're doing. Yeah, here. exactly. But uh, here we, we are. digress. We that, that was Steve's railroad. <laughs> And it's, it's going very long. Every, <laughs> it is. It's just amazing to see how fast he gets things done on that. Oh, right. Although, you know, we've been getting so much done on oh, Garage Mahal, too. Right. It's just amazing what a pandemic can do for your, for your railroad. Think positive. <laughs> think positive. Yeah. Don't be positive. Don't test positive. No, just think, think positive. positive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anyway. So... <laughs> But that's that's really incredible. It is. He's it's, going you know, right to town on that. I hope he doesn't tear it apart again anytime soon. But if he does, he'll just rebuild it. Exactly. So whatever he wants. To he do stays is busy. Fine. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, if you uh, haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, you want to uh, subscribe and you want to click your notification bell so that you'll be reminded whenever we upload something. Mm -hmm. And the easy way to do both of those things is to click the blue button. Right. Are, are, are we ready for that? We are. Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Tuesday with a collectible show of some kind. Absolutely. See you Good then. to see you. Bye. Bye. -bye.